Jessica. I'm the manager of digital programs and intern supervisor here at PowerPoetry.org. Hey, I'm Sadie, and I'm a content creator intern here at Power Poetry. Hey guys, my name is Emmanuel Reed, and I am also a content creator intern here at Power Poetry Network. And we're creating this video for you guys because oftentimes we get some questions about what we're looking for or how you guys can create the best poems. So this video is just a quick tool for you to use in order to make the best poem possible. So before you actually start the writing process, it's important to reread the prompt for clarification before you start the writing process. This first part, we're gonna talk about certain criteria that we use when we're looking at the specific poem submissions. We're looking at how closely does the poem answer the question. Each scholarship slam, there's a specific question or prompt that we're looking for the poem to answer. Secondly, we're looking for the student who puts in serious effort. We want the, the poet who took the time to sit back, think, reflect, answer the question, and then put in the extra mile to make sure that this was their best presented work. Additionally, we want quality over quantity. We don't want to see an entire essay written or we don't want to see something super short like a haiku. We want somebody who has demonstrated exceptional writing. We want somebody who pays attention to detail and who is going to make their content stand out and be exciting. And that leads me into the fourth point, which is creativity. How are you going to think outside the box? So before submitting, you may be asking, how do I make my poem stand out? So there are a few things you can do. We want to see a unique title that doesn't just say, I want scholarship money, or is the exact title of the prompt. We would like to see images or multimedia content attached to your poem, so that when we're reading through submissions, it kind of adds to the story you're trying to tell. And it's important to note that images are not only displayed on your poem page, but are also on the poem page while we're scrolling through submissions. So in general, just seeing that image attached to your poem will tell us that you put in a little bit more effort and will stand out and make it more unique. Lastly, use social media. We love seeing your poems and we'd love if you tag us in them as well. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, that's where we're at. So make sure to tag us and share your poems with the community. Who knows, you might make a new friend along the way. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. We hope these tips were really helpful and we can't wait to read more of your work. And even though you specifically submitted for this scholarship slam, we hope that you check out our other slams on our site and keep writing.